How'd you feel today? That was a good day. That was a really competitive day. I thought um, thought it was good. I thought defensively we really played well in the team period, which is good to see. Um, yeah, I thought it was good. I thought the, it took us a while to get started. You know, I thought it was a little sloppy early in practice, but I thought the guys responded well and came back, and I, th I thought it was a good day. On the whole, how do you think they responded to their first double day yesterday? Um, you know, I think, okay. Like I said, I think it was, you know, wasn't great early, and then, and then you know, they got refocused and kind of got, got, got with it and started, uh, started grinding through it. So I was pleased with that. Like I said, I thought the effort was good and thought we moved around really good when we went to Pascal and team period. Uh, looks like uh, Coleman's been working with the, with the clipboard. Is he kind of helping you out as like a student? Yeah, yeah he is. Yeah, yeah. Caleb's going to help us out and glad to have him. Um, you know, as part of the program, he's a great kid and, um, you know, thinking about potentially getting into coaching. So certainly is a guy that, um, you know, can help us because he's been around a little bit and, and is, uh, has a great work ethic and is a, is a good example for the guy, young guys to look up to. How many guys are going to travel to Australia? Uh, we're taking 105, yeah. All the, all the guys that came to camp will, will travel. Um, seeing, uh, seeing a guy like Drew back, is it kind of nice to have a familiar face? Yeah, yeah, it's good to see Damari back around, um, you know, and, and, you know, back back here. And he's, uh, you know, he's going to finish up academically, get his degree. And, and I think he's one of those one of those guys that, you know, get rehabbed and, um, you know, get back and have a chance to go on and play at the next level and, and hopefully get into camp someplace. And, he's, you know, he's one of those kids that when he gets into camp, I think he'll perform well. So, so. his career's over then? Yeah, pretty he's much. Not, so. He's not going to try to go to grad school? Or? No, I don't think he's not going to be able to get a sixth year. Oh, really? Just because he's only missed one, you really have to miss yeah, two? Yeah, you have to miss two because of injury. Yeah. Oh, okay. Because uh, he had set out that one year, right? Yep. Oh, okay. yep. Uh, moving Hawkins uh, to nickel, uh, what did you guys see? Because he'd been playing a lot at corner really early in camp. And what did you see out of him? Yeah, yeah, he's going to play. He's going to play safety for us, and you know maybe potentially nickel as well. So he's a guy that um, you know we like what he can do. I mean, he, he made a bunch of plays today. He hadn't been completely healthy, so we wanted to to go live and see how he tackled. And I thought he showed up a bunch today, so it was good to see him do that. And you know, I think Jalen's got uh, you know is a, is a young player that has a chance. You know, I've. I've um, you know, he's had some bad luck with some injuries, but, but it was good to see him out there live today and, and running around making plays. Ran Clark a lot uh, today. Yeah, yeah, Derek got a bunch of carries, which was good, and thought, thought we ran the ball pretty well. And that, how did the offensive line go? Good, yeah, good. I think the offensive line's, you know, gelling pretty well. I mean, I think that the first unit's got starting to develop a little consistency, and, you know, and, and the good thing is we've, you know, Brandon does a great job rotating guys through, so, you know, we, we feel like there's eight or ten guys that, that can win and contribute in, in different roles, and, you know, we need to, it'll be good once we start getting, you know, Aaron Cochran back healthy and, and uh, get, getting him back will help, but uh, it's been good, to, you know, um, Patrick McCarry's done a great job picking up the slack and has performed very well, and, um, you know, it just comes down to what we've talked about all the time, trying to build depth and, and you know, being able to play with a bunch of different guys. Do you feel Stevens having a camp living up to his expectations? Yeah, Stephen Moore. Yeah, I yeah. thought he's had a great camp. Yeah, I really do. I think he's been, been very, very consistent and been really pleased with what he's done so far. You've uh, you said in the past that uh, that Hanson is probably your best, you know, one of your best pro prospects. So what did you hear from scouts over the course of last year and, and early this year? Well, I've just said that just because uh, you know what he can do. I mean, the, the receiver is such a unique position in the NFL. You've got to have a body that can play on special teams. You know what I mean? That's if you're not if you're not one of the six three, uh, one of the you know fifty guys in the world that's six three and runs four four, then you're going to have to play on special teams and. He's, he's got a big enough frame and he's fast enough to be able to do that and contribute. And he's physical enough and he's durable. And so I think a big part of, of carving out a great career in the NFL is, is being able to play on teams. And I think, you know, not only is he a very good receiver, and he's a guy that, you know, runs well, catches the ball well, is pretty savvy, but he can also contribute because of his size and strength. Is Hennett going to work with the line and as a fullback? Yeah, yeah he'll do both, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Kind of like how Rigsby would occasionally uh -huh. cameo in that role? Yeah, yeah, and, and we'll, um, yeah, and just kind of see how JD continues to develop and see what his role ends up being. But yeah, he'll do both.